Yo, what's up? Um, just gonna take you through my rig. All right, the most important pedal in the world, if you're ever a musician, is the tuner. Okay, so I play through um, so a Line 6 G30 into my um, Korg Pitch Black tuner, into my Power Booster. Um, it's an EHX LPB1. Um, yeah, and into an NS2, just to take away all the noise. And an MXR carbon copy delay. I don't really use the delay when I play with the band. It's just there for show. And <laughs> I also have um, a Digitech Digi Delay, a Barber Direct Drive, and a Barber Dirty Bomb. Now, these three pedals, I used to have them when um, I had to play through other amps. But now, I have my own amps. And, um, yeah. So this is the Orange OR15. So with this, the drive um, comes pretty much from here. That's why I don't really need anything else except a booster, so whenever I need to solo. Um, I'm playing through a 2x12 open back cap with Celestian Vintage 30, so really warm, really um, a, a lot of lows, and, and that's what I need mostly. And also I have an orange dual terror. Um, yeah, so an orange dual terror, 30 watts, um, two channels into a 2x12 close back um, gym root cap. So yeah, that's pretty much my rig. Um, um, what I use on like when I play the guitar and my mic, the Shure Beta 58A. Very very cool mic. Makes my voice um, soar like an eagle. <laughs> yeah, but um, I really like this mic because it's it's really warm at the same time. You know, it's really um, bright, so it gives gives you know my voice um, a whole elevation above everything else and it's so hard to mix like our voices um, you know when you play it in a live setting the 58 is fine but the beta 58 is kick ass all right and um yes i also play um the guitar and this is the chord um, ts250 now the newer models are available at guitar store and, uh, and they are um, the cr250 it less ball copy really warm really heavy tone at the same time, and I also play, if you come over here, um, I also play um, a Fender Tally. This is the American Standard, single coil with um, maple frets. Um, really sturdy. Now, the thing about this guitar is really weird because like with a single coil, you would think that you'd never be able to play um, like heavy stuff, but this guitar, it never hums, which is really cool. And um, this is also my first electric guitar, the Ibanez AS93, hollow body. Um, yeah, so really old school, really cool. And um, my, oops, my other chord, which is also a hollow body. Now this is pretty much like, I think, would be any guitarist's dream guitar because it's got a piezo here, JBN59, and you can coil tap, hollow body. Um, 22 frets, so pretty much everything that you can do on a guitar. And this is the M Custom. And the final guitar, which is my acoustic, also available at the guitar store. Um, Norman B20, I've had this for about 10 years, and it actually doesn't belong to me, it belongs to my dad, George Day. <laughs> so yeah, um, I've been using it, my brother's been using it, and yeah, this is, and I am, all my guitars are strung with Roto Sound strings and also available at the guitar store. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much my rig and everything that I use when I play a live show. Do you bring all these guitars around? Every no. Um, usually I bring two to okay, be which, safe. Which two? Um, usually it would be both the chords or one chord and, and the tally. Um, usually I just bring the OR15 and the open back. Right. Yeah, because I mean, like with the open back, it gives a more complete and fuller sound, you know, you, it's less directional. So at least the, the sound, you know, sort of like spreads across the room to give a fuller, yeah, feel. Yeah, we bring our stuff everywhere we go. And I guess that's, that's, a, that's a step to, to being, you know, a pro musician.